contenders for Jeff Hardy's World Heavyweight title this Sunday at Genesis. But tonight, he must team up with a double Austin Aries. Yeah, you can sense the tension between Bobby Roode and tonight his tag team partner, Austin Aries. They are the two challengers for Hardy on Sunday at Genesis. And you'll recall that it was Roode who paid off aces and eights to attack Hardy. But then he was outbid by Aries, who bribed the aces to attack both Roode and Hardy. And final resolution, guys, is there honor among thieves here? Uh, yeah, I think that's the best cliche to use, Mike. I, I, I really do. I mean, listen, you look at the team. I, I agree. It's a dream team. You look at Aries and Rude together as a, as a unit, definitely. But their egos, can they coexist because of the egos? Look at everything else. The arrogance, the pompousness of these two men. It could be very interesting to see how they gel against two very <laughs> talented men that once the world ever went champ. And his tag team partner from Minneapolis, Minnesota, the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Harry. You know, when I think of the greatest man that ever lived, I wouldn't have thunk it that that greatest man that ever lived, whoever that is, would have a cape. I gotta be honest. Like when I was a kid in Brooklyn, I never thought that the greatest man that ever lived, he's got a cape. That's just me. That's a pretty super cape, though. Might be the greatest cape that ever lived, and he's got a pretty sweet t-shirt as well. Oh, Couldn't agree on who's going to come out, what they were going to wear. Can't agree on anything. Sorry about your damn luck. And their opponent, introducing first from Leapers Ward, Tennessee. Right after Impact, Bellator 360, two full hours of the best fights in Bellator MMA history, including at 10 o'clock, the welterweights featured, along with champion Ben Askren, and at 11 o'clock, the featherweights on display with champ Pat Kern. Going to set the table tonight with Bellator 360. Can't wait for the first live event next Thursday night. And his tag team partner from Cameron, North Carolina, the charismatic enigma and your world heavyweight champion, Jeff Hardy. And Taz, the battle-tested, battle-weary, but still running strong world heavyweight champion, Jeff Hardy. He's sick of dealing with these two in the form of Aries and Rue. He issued the challenge. He'll take them both on in Genesis, and now we know it's going to be an elimination matchup. Did the champ make a smart move? Uh, personally, I don't think so. I, I, if I'm Jeff Hardy, hey, I, I wouldn't have put myself out there just a couple of days before defending my title against two guys that could double up on me this Sunday. That's just me, but Jeff Hardy's a different breed, you know? Jeff Hardy's about going against the odds, going against the grain. He's a non-conformist, and, and he's an off-color guy, and that's, that's who he is. He don't play it safe. So he's been his personality, and the fact that most world heavyweight champions would do anything within their power not to have two challengers in one world title match like Hardy will this Sunday tells us so much about his confidence and his whatever-it-takes attitude. And sometimes the greatest thing a world heavyweight champion can do is do nothing. There's no reason sometimes to get out there and go and compete when you're sitting pretty as the champ. But again, your point might get mine. I mean, that's not what Hardy's about. He gets out there and he gets after it. That's why he was the 2012 Impact Wrestling Wrestler of the Year. Set for action in this huge tag team matchup. A little preview of Genesis. Hardy might have a chance to get in there with both contenders tonight. It's going to be Hardy starting up with Bobby Roode. 
quite yeah, think about it, guys. Jeff Hardy, 20 plus championships in his career between TNA and WWE. 2008, he was the WWE World Champion. 2010, he wins the TNA World Title for the first time. And of course, he regained it last October at Bound for Glory. See, Jeff Hardy, I think that's to his advantage to keep this thing. While he's in there with Rude, to keep it at that high pace. That's what, that's what Hardy is about, where, you know, Bobby Rude, Kind of wants to take you down and grind you a little bit. Well, this looks like Aries. I thought maybe Aries wanted to come in, but he had no choice because <laughs> Root slapped the hands and go, hey, you get in. Yeah, we've seen the tension. We've seen the uneasiness between these two. It's the question well, that we've had ever since we heard about this match, ever since our general manager, Hulk Hogan, announced it last week. Can they work together? Well, if I'm Jeff Hardy, I might want to whoop the rear end of Austin Aries just for wearing those horrible tights. That's just my opinion. <laughs> nice takedown there by Aries, who goes for a ride. This guy can grapple with the best of them, trying to show up the World Heavyweight Champion here and send in a little message to Bobby Roode as well. We better keep the eye on the prize if you, know, if you are Austin Aries. You know, you have a front headlock on the World Heavyweight Champion, and you're trying to, you know, verbally punk out your partner. I mean, I don't know about that. Nice take down there, head scissors, snaps it off, does the World Heavyweight Champion, looking to follow it up, and he does with the inverted atomic whoa, whoa, whoa. drop, and now one for the It Factor. Well, that'll be a little preview now. We're gonna witness this Sunday if you're Jeff Hardy. Now here comes Storm. And what a great choice it was for Jeff Hardy. World Champion picked the Cowboy as his partner. That especially considering the history between Storm and Rude, Ooh. as Hardy connects in a corner on Aries. God. Talk about history. How about a little poetry in motion there? Look at this. Aries hung out to dry. <laughs> You're hanging upside down on worldwide TV. The guy's cutting a promo on you. That's tremendous. <laughs> what are you doing? You push me. You push me. And these two, as you mentioned, just not getting along. Can they get on the same page as this huge tag team matchup continues on Impact? Welcome back, everybody, to Impact Wrestling Live. This huge tag team matchup, and all throughout the break, Rude and Hardy just, Rude and Aries cannot get on the same page. Hardy taking advantage. You know, James Storm, he told me earlier today, Hardy and I, we're gonna dominate this match, just like Alabama did Monday night against Notre Dame, and you know what? He's dead on. Well, now look at Jeff, oh, Jeff's in trouble. Watch out. Oh, oh my God. goodness. You can see that momentum of Rude hitting those ropes. The vibration, I should say, shaking that whole, all those ropes, and God, Hardy just really landed hard. Boy, you talk about how a complexion of a match can change entirely in favor now of well, the other team. Oh, that illegal man is Austin Aries. Tacked himself and slapped the hell out in the back of his partner. But that's all a guy like Bobby Roode needs, man. He just needs that little bit of an opening he saw. Don't touch me! That the world so champ had his back turned just for a second. Ran into those ropes, and next thing you know, a window of opportunity is there for Aries and Rude. Now we're all champs in trouble. And the potential now is here for Rude and Aries to weaken Jeff Hardy just three days before the title defense this Sunday at Genesis. And why not go after one of his wheels? I mean, go after one of his legs. I mean, that, that, that's, that's, geez, that's about 50, 60 percent of the offense is high flying stuff by Jeff Hardy. Can't do it without one leg. Absolutely. And now you see the body positioning of Aries keeping himself between Hardy and his corner. They're going to try and keep the onslaught on here on the World Heavyweight Champ. Now these two working together. They've got a common goal here. Weaken the champ. Fans, we remind you that TNA Lockdown, the live pay-per-view event, is coming to the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas on March 10th. Hold on. Got him pinned here, Hardy. Hardy's got Ruth pinned. Ref was out of position. The ref was trying to get Aries out of the ring. Oh! That huge event coming to the Alamo Dome. He's going for the cover again. Tickets on sale now, as well as the VIP fan interaction package. Go to shoptna.com for all the information. Everything's big in Texas, right? A little bit bigger. We're going to do it big in San Antonio. I can promise you that. Right now, Aries, he just comes in there. The referee, Brian Hebb, he's got his hands full here. Cover now by Aries. And he can just take his time. Hardy in a whole lot of trouble here, Mike. Well, and you notice the way that Aries right there cut off the ring, got right in front. 
of Jeff Hardy, preventing Hardy from making the tag and getting the fresh cowboy, James Storm, into the match, Taz. Exactly what I was going to say, but you beat me to the punch, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I going to say? And now again, just cutting the ring in half, and it's like, look, if you're rude, you have an Aries do your dirty work, and right now, if you're Aries, you haven't rude do your dirty work for this Sunday, if you think about it. Oh, look at this splash with the springboard there into the cover. You know that both Aries and Rude would love to pick up the pinfall victory over Hardy in this matchup, picking up a whole lot of momentum going into Genesis. Yeah, anything to get inside the head of the world heavyweight champion, that's what Aries, and that's what Rude want to establish tonight here in this tag team match. Sure, Aries just telling Bobby Rude, watch, watch me. He's trying to show what's going to happen this Sunday. Oh, man, look at that. Into the cover now, twisting corkscrew, drops the elbow as if to say, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, they're playing a game of can you top this as they go face to face again and again. It's Aries one step ahead of Hardy, preventing the tag. See, Hardy's smart, even though he's you know, in dire straits here and really getting his tail whooped. I mean, look, look, he saw that, he sees that these two guys keep jaw jacking with each other, and he's trying to get over there to get the Cowboy into this match. And if you're Cowboy James Storm, man, you got to be stewing right now. We're talking about jaw jacking. Aries was boxing the ears there, and now tagged a rude, beautiful textbook suplex there by the It Factor, looking to follow it up. And he does so with a nice knee there. See that height right there that Rude got before he drove the knee into the sternum area of the World Heavyweight Champion. Now look at this now, Aries like, I, I could do you one better. And unfortunately, the sacrificial lamb is the world champ, the opponent of both these men this Sunday. Great point, Taz and Mike. Yes, we can't forget that Genesis only three days away and think of the punishment that the champ is enduring here. Again, just trying to outdo each other. A legal man is rude. Tagged himself in, and man, not much movement from the World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Hardy, right now on the, on the flat of his back. And as we watch this tag team match progress, you have to wonder about the three-way, the elimination rules on Sunday. Desperation move by Hardy. Is it going to be enough to allow Jeff to get the Cowboy into the match? That might be the opening that Hardy needs, but can Jeff get over there to get the Cowboy into this thing? Hardy hurting, he's crawling, he's inching his way towards the Cowboy. Ah, uh, he almost got the, oh my gosh. What a strike by Hardy. That could be the difference maker. Tag him, Jeff. And he does, here comes the Cowboy. Cowboy, he's just exploding on the scene right now. Oh, he's fresh, gonna do some big time gunslinging. He's gonna air out that offense. Inverted atomic drop. Oh, oh man. turns him inside out. He blocked the clothesline into a Russian leg sweep. And look at the Cowboy, man, he's rolling. Yeah, who would know Rude better than Storm, his longtime tag partner. High elevation with the backdrop there. The Cowboy is on fire. Look out. Aries trying to catch him out of the corner. Oh, gonna take a bad line. Bad line, short landing there for Aries. Right in the back of the head, and you see Rude, his eyes almost go behind his head. Beautiful oh. neck breaker there by the Cowboy. Is that going to be enough? Into the cover. Oh, misdirection, miscommunication, and Aries in trouble. Boom. Closing time. Oh, that, so much momentum. Aries went flying out of the ring. Fortunate for him that he did, Taz, though, because... Yeah, you're right. He might have been closing in on the victory, looking for that last call super kick. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That, that, I mean, that's Daniels. Is that a... Is that Kazarian? Yeah, that's... Oh. Kazarian and Storm going at it. They went at it one-on-one -on -one last week. The hell are they doing down here? Just at the point where it looked like Storm and Hardy were going to get the win. Daniels and Kazarian battling on the floor. Meanwhile, in the ring. Look out. Twist of fate by Hardy. In the midst of absolute chaos. Jeff Hardy now sits a bunch. Uh oh, watch your back. Oh! Vicious lethal shot to the back of the head by Aries laying out the world champ with his own title belt. Oh, 
was able to do that because the partner, oh, the partner of Jeff Hardy was fighting out the arena here with, with Daniels. Aries absolutely blasted him with the title, and now the attack is on as we count down the days towards Genesis. What is this going to mean for the World Heavyweight title and the reign of Jeff Hardy? I think Jeff Hardy might just might be in jeopardy, and uh, well, who knows? Will that be the scene with Aries with the title or Rude with the title this Sunday? Yeah, look at how symbolic this is as Rude and Aries fighting over the two World Heavyweight title belts of Jeff Hardy in anticipation of Genesis this Sunday. Absolute power struggle, a tug of war. The likes will see this Sunday at Genesis.